So I know that there are a lot of leftists in the country who are very pro-Ukraine, um, simply because I think they're like, we hate Putin, therefore we love Ukraine, and I guess they're willing to just sell off, give, give off, give away all of their children's and grandchildren's assets um, just to like fund Ukraine forever and ever, apparently, but it's not just the war and arming Ukraine and making sure they have what they need to fight the war. Um, we're actually like purchasing seeds and fertilizer for farmers and subsidizing small businesses. Yay, here is some of that on 60 Minutes, watch. American taxpayers are financing more than just weapons. We discovered the US government's buying seeds and fertilizer for Ukrainian farmers and covering the salaries of Ukraine's first responders, all 57,000 of them. Wonderful. That includes the team that trains this rescue dog named Joy to comb through the wreckage wow. of Russian strikes looking for survivors. <coughs> and the US dog, also but... funds the divers who we saw clearing unexploded ammunition from the country's rivers to make them safe again for swimming and fishing. Russia's invasion shrank Ukraine's economy by about a third. We were surprised to find that to keep it afloat, the US government is subsidizing small businesses. Mm. Oh my gosh, congratulations to the Ukrainian small businesses. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I guess because I, you know, small businesses here in the United States are have so much red tape, uh, bureaucracy just to get anything done. Um, you got to like jump through hoops in order to even open up a small business in this country. Mm -hmm. but, so it's nice to know that at least a country is receiving some help for small businesses. It's just not ours. No, that it's particular ours. business, I think I, I looked into a little bit. It's knitting sweaters, right? Oh, That's good. It's going to stop the war. It's going to help good. for sure. Good. Putin's going to. Shaking his boots for the, you know, for the knitting. Mm. Look, if we look at the demise of the American middle class at the moment, and that's really what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, you break a country's middle class, you, you make it milk toast, you silence them, you take their voice and you break them economically so that big daddy government can sweep in and grow exponentially. At the same time, you open the border. At the same time, you don't prosecute crime. I mean, it is just a, a melting pot in a, in a disastrous situation, but we'll fund small business in other countries. So, uh, of course, the president that has printed more money than anybody in history will just give it away. Um, I still believe that they're protecting their own hide. It's the money laundering scheme through the Ukraine for decades. Mm -hmm. that the Bushes were involved. I mean, they were all involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obama, all of them, and so, which is why they went after Trump when he wanted to look under the hood and say, hey, is there corruption here between our country and yours? Right. So now, of course, we'll fund them out the wazoo. We'll fund any small business over there. I believe that there's no end to what they're willing to do uh, versus helping the Americans. From the beginning, we've asked for accountability mm -hmm. on the money we're sending over there because we're sending hundreds of billions. If you added it all up, the humanitarian, and the military, um, and now this. I mean, it, it's Fox gave a number uh, several months ago of two hundred billion, um, and I tend to believe it's probably well over that now, way over that, because we give hundreds of millions, if not billions, every week, and so this is the reason we wanted it accounted for. Because what are, what is our money being spent on? That's our money. Right. Those are sacred funds from the American taxpayer. That's not how our elected officials look at it anymore. Um, but they are. And you're only supposed to spend them in certain ways. And this isn't one of them. Mm -hmm. And so it's amazing that CBS actually did a little yes, digging. Right? 60 minutes, yeah. acted like 60 minutes of old. Yeah. And, and found something out that is, uh, that should be um, really m maddening to the vast majority of Americans. Pat, I got a call last week from South Africa, right? And the call went like this. Hey, Yaku, African companies are getting contracts from the Ukrainian government, and they're being paid by the American aid that's being sent to come provide services to the Ukrainians. So what has happened here mm -hmm. is the world is flocking to the Ukraine because there's money. And it's an endless spigot. Mm -hmm. And they'll come in and provide services or whatever it is. So we're not, 
I don't know, again, like how many people's crossed into the US. The number we'll never really know, and we'll never really know how much money is really being spent. Uh, but there's no accountability. You can't trace. And then are we funding entities from Africa and from Central Europe or, f that are good guys, that are friends of ours? Probably not. Right. Mm -hmm. We're funding those who hate us, who have just joined BRICS. Mm -hmm. We're with Russia in, in China, but we're funding them. We're lining the pockets of companies worldwide that are flocking because don't let any opportunity go to waste, right? Mm -hmm. Or any disaster go to waste. So, so we, we are, this is so diabolical what we're doing. It's such a, a disservice to the American citizen. Why we're not up in arms more about just that one issue about, hey, the fiscal responsibility is completely out the window. I, I don't understand. Um, yes, yeah. 60 Minutes says nearly 25 billion of non-military aid into Ukraine's economy we've paid um, since the invasion began. Mm -hmm. And I love this. You can see it working at the bustling farmer's market on John McCain Street in Central Kiev. So, <laughs> of course, it's named John McCain Street. But I mean, does that not make my point? I know. When they name their streets after I know. corrupt politicians. I know. I, mean. I know. I know. Um, and so, you know, to your point, Pat, I think that 60 Minutes obviously got the greater story, but I'm not sure that they think it's a bad thing. Right. Well, that's no. why they showed the no. dog. Right. That looks they, like exactly right. Yes. And exactly that's why they right. showed the bombs the, in the river. The river exactly yeah. right. Exactly. Oh, by the way, you know, give them credit, but like, but, don't give yeah. them too much credit. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. They, they were not trying to expose no. them by any means. They were trying to be like, look what our money is going to. I mean, we have homeless veterans in, in, in this country. We don't want to help them. We want to fund the bustling mm -hmm. farmer's market on John McCain Street in central Kiev. That's great. Um, and by the way, uh, while 60 Minutes was in Kiev, Elizabeth Warren, Richard Blumenthal, and Lindsey Graham were all also in Kiev. When, oh, when those people all agree on something, uh -huh. I want as far away from it as freaking possible. And Lindsey Graham. Right. You would think Lindsey Graham should not be traveling with Elizabeth Warren. I mean, can you... I mean. And Richard Blumenthal. Yeah, I know. If you like that clip, there is plenty more where that came from. Click the link in the description below to subscribe to the News and Why It Matters YouTube channel to watch the full episode.